Tonight at 5, Hawaii researchers say there is a link between shark bites and the presence of the moon. Our Chelsea Davis tells us what swimmers should know. Dr. Stephen Manalia has a passion for channel swimming. He successfully finished dozens of channel crossings in Hawaii over the years. Obviously, there are risks that you need to mitigate and, and, and worry about sharks being one of them. Channel swimmers know there are many challenges out in the open ocean, especially in the dark. All I had on my mind for the whole night were cookie cutter sharks in the channel coming up from the deep depths and taking a chunk out of us. It's a rational fear, and Dr. Manalia found the statistics that back it up. Worldwide, there have been nine reported attacks of a cookie cutter shark on a live human, okay? Eight of them happened in Hawaii. Cookie cutter sharks get their name because of the round bites they leave, almost as if they've been cut out with a cookie cutter. They like to stay in deep waters, but head to the surface to feed at night, putting channel swimmers at risk of bites. Dr. Manalia dove into the data on bites and published this research article last year. Moonless night sky increases cookie cutter shark and human contact. The statistical analysis shows that at a minimum, there's a 90% increased risk of being bitten by a cookie cutter shark if you happen to be in the deep water of these channels without the moon in the sky. But there is light in the water. Channel swimmers attach glow sticks or strobe lights on them. That in turn can attract squid or other prey of the cookie cutter shark. People who deep water fish uh, in the dark will say that when the moon is out, all of the organisms are kind of scattered in the water and if you throw lights into the water to try to aggregate small fish and hopefully hook big fish, it's not as effective. When it's really dark and you throw lights in the water, it's a lot more effective to pull the small animals together so that the bigger fish come and then the fishing is more successful. They call it jigging. Dr. Manalia wants the community to know that channel swimming can be safe. The strong advisement is not to put yourself in the deep water of those channels in the middle of the night without the moon. His data is there so swimmers can make responsible choices when they jump into the water. Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.